The committee substitute has a number of items associated with it that some people say if you take them together, it amounts to a poison pill. And for those who do not understand what a poison pill is, is that you insert something into a bill so that someone wouldn't want it at the end of the day anyway because it's that bad. Well, that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is that it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to get around the table and come up with a solution that is appropriate, that the majority of the people in this body can buy into, and that is rational in terms of its intent. But let me tell you what my problem is with this House bill committee substitute, which is before us. It has something in here that says any felony offense that is a person has been previously convicted of disqualifies them from consideration of this bill in terms of automatic um, restoration of voter rights. Okay, then it goes on to say that it doesn't apply except to those people five years, five years after they have been discharged. Somebody could be on paper 10 years, then you go five more years. And the question is, for what? It doesn't make any sense. If the idea is a person who has been convicted of a felon, served time, they paid their debt to society, and then we're going to come back and add something on. We're going to create a whole new category of punishment. Makes no sense. No precedent for it that I'm aware of, but it certainly is counter to what the intent of House Bill 70 is about. Then it goes on to say that if you've been convicted of any other felony, but listen to this, or a misdemeanor, then they take away that right. That doesn't make sense. You can commit a misdemeanor tripping down the street. And then it goes on to say, a person who have had their rights to vote previously restored, that they also don't get to come back after they paid their debts to society and get automatic restoration if they comply with all the procedural rules and substantive rules that are associated with it. Now, this is problematic. Obviously, this is problematic. Uh, you take one or two of these, maybe you can work with it a little bit. I'm hopeful that that can happen. In the form that it's in, I don't see how it will get through the house.